Hey YouTube, what's up? iPhone Rebel here with another exciting video about iOS 10 beta. In this video, I'm going to be highlighting 10 features that you'll probably notice right away that are new with iOS 10. And in September, when you guys all get the free upgrade, I'm sure you'll probably notice them right away. And I just thought I'd share with you this video. So it's kind of like a mini guide of how to use iOS 10 and some of the new features that are in iOS 10. I'm on the rose gold iPhone SE. So the first thing you'll probably notice right away is when you swipe left, you can no longer unlock your iPhone with the keypad. Instead, what you'll have to do is right there, it says press home to unlock. So you press the home button and there you can enter your password. Of course, if you have touch ID, you can just unlock it right away. The next thing, something that I constantly use that I noticed right away that's new is the control panel. You know, look at that. You have, first of all, you have like colors and that's very nice. You also have a new night shift mode. Instead of night shift being one of these small little buttons down here, they've made it its own button. Not only is it its own button, it's a big button. Probably because people use it a lot. I, I, don't, I don't use it a lot. I would think that the camera would be there. Yeah, just a little thought, Apple. And one thing you're probably noticing that's not here, volume. Where is the volume? Well, that's the third new feature right over here. All you have to do is swipe over to get to the next part, and that is the volume. So you can, you can affect the volume. Uh, maybe you have a Bluetooth speaker, so you can adjust that. This is right now just the standard iPhone speakers. And you can play whatever you have, if you have anything. So it's pretty interesting. Something else you'll probably notice. When you swipe down, you have notifications like normal, right? But look at that, they changed the notifications. You no longer can swipe left or right to go toggle between your notifications and say the time of day, stocks, and all your widgets. That's something new, notifications has changed. Now, where are those stocks and widgets that you would have? Well, all you have to do is swipe all the way over to the left. It's the new spotlight search feature. You can you have your widgets and your news and all these information right away. You can edit them, rearrange them. It's just a new feature that's it's pretty nice. It's 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 the, the new standard for Apple in iOS 10. Something that is a super cool feature is raise to wake. So you have nothing, and then you have raise to wake. It's actually a really cool feature because when you raise to wake it quickly turns off right away once you notice, once it knows that you're upside down. So you're upside down and then you go to check to look at a notification and you quickly go back and it's gone right away. It's a super nice feature and I think it will save a lot of people not, a, not having to click the home button or the power button all the time. This feature of course can be turned off because I know it, it will use a lot of battery and that is right in brightness and display right there, right there, raised awake and you can turn that off and on. The Raised Awake is only available in newer iPhones. The 5S does not support it, so anything, you know, the 5, the 5C and the 5S are not gonna be supporting this. You can just go check that out. It says right there, there's no Raised Awake. So that's just an interesting note. You know, there's no Raised Awake for older devices, even though it has a Touch ID. Finally, something really wanted for a while, deleting useless system apps. I call them useless because I do not even use them. Like the Apple Watch. I mean, yes, a lot of people have the Apple Watch, but not everybody. So look at that. I can just delete it right away. It says, do you want to remove it? I say, I want to remove it. You can delete the weather. You can delete videos. You know, say you don't have a lot of videos. You can just delete those. You can even delete the iTunes store, which is actually kind of weird and kind of interesting. You can't delete some of the stock ones, the other stock ones. They don't want you to delete the news the wallet, the app store settings, but it's a great new step in Apple's direction that you can start to save storage. Another new feature that is a pretty interesting feature, when you go into general settings and you go down to accessibility, there's a new tab called display accommodations. When you turn that on, this is where you can reduce the white point. So they've, they've kind of moved that, you know, so you can, if you don't want to blind yourself, but they've also added this new option that is, was never seen before, which is color blindness. So if you have the different types of color blindness, 
it automatically changes your whole iPhone to work around and correct for people who have, say, a color blindness in their eyes. You have the standard grayscale, or if you are you want to customize your color blindness or hue, you can you can do that. So you can do something really really crazy with your iPhone. Like like what in the world is this? I mean, it's it's a cool feature, and I'm sure a lot of people are gonna like this, especially people who are colorblind who are having problems seeing some of the information. Um, it's just a nice feature that Apple finally added. Wallpapers. Let's look into wallpapers. In wallpapers, they added a new one um, right here. What's super interesting is that there's one missing right here. You see, there's this box. There's nothing. I'm assuming that Apple will probably add one more for this iPhone. I do like this, the new the wallpaper. It's basically the only one that's new. I mean, uh, don't quote me on that, but I think that's the only one that's new. I noticed that's what they were showing in the, the keynote. But there is one missing, and on my other iPhone, there's two missing, so I have to cross-reference them and stuff like that. But I do think there's probably going to be another one that will be coming up some in the future, so that's something else to look for. Something that is super great in the iOS 10 beta right now is better animations. I don't know if you've noticed this, but the animations are, and they pop. Look at that. It just pops. Over here, it just pops. They're super elegant and slick and smooth. When you go into a folder, instead of having it zoom in like it used to, just the folder comes out. So it's kind of just there and it goes back. It's there and it goes back. It's a super nice feature. I'm glad Apple did this because iOS 9 had a lot of bugs with, you know, going into the folder and it would be like, uh, you know, having a delay. This actually saves speed for the iPhone, I believe. And it's a nice feature, and I can't wait to see if Apple's going to come out with any new features. This was just a little video I wanted to make to show you some of the great features, the 10 features in iOS 10 that you'll all notice right away. So when you sign on your own your iPhone with the raise to pop, you don't have to be like, where is my sign-on screen? It's just right here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, Please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, tell me your experience with iOS 10. Maybe some features that you noticed that I didn't cover in this video. Until next time, check out my other videos on iOS 10 and subscribe so that you can stay up to date on the future videos of iOS 10. Until next time, see you later.